As 2024 unfolds, all eyes are on Bitcoin. The number one cryptocurrency by market cap has doubled in price in the last year, and there's lots of attention on Bitcoin because of the Bitcoin ETF approval in the United States. And many believe that 2024 is going to be a massive year for Bitcoin. But what most people don't know is behind the scenes, there's actually a much more explosive trend happening inside the Bitcoin ecosystem that has delivered explosive gains in the past few months. Many people have printed serious money with this strategy, and there's likely much more opportunity on the table. And I'm going to tell you everything you need to know in this video today as a blockchain developer myself who's been in this space ever since 2017 and works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. And if you want to get ahead of the next crypto explosion and capitalize on all this opportunity, then the best way to do that is to become a blockchain developer, and I can show you how to do that step-by-step from start to finish over at dappydiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about this big trend brewing behind the scenes in the Bitcoin ecosystem that's causing a lot of people to print money that most people aren't really paying attention to right now. Now, before I get into this, of course, nothing I'm saying this video is designed to be financial advice, not telling you to buy or sell any cryptocurrency based on this information. But in the past few months, we've seen an explosion of new technology actually built on top of Bitcoin. And many cryptos in this space have 10 x or more in just the last 30 to 60 days. So wait, what? You know, I thought Bitcoin was supposed to be this really simple blockchain that basically just did one thing, let you hold Bitcoin and send it around to other people. But recently, there's been a big push to actually upgrade Bitcoin to do a lot more, to bring it up to the capability of other blockchains like Ethereum and Solana, where you can actually do things like hold other assets on top of that blockchain, trade them, do NFTs. And that's exactly where this explosion of new projects is coming from. Now, I'm going to talk about a few of these projects in detail here in a minute. But I first want to say, I actually talked about this on my YouTube channel when this first came out about seven months ago. We saw an initial surge of activity here and the hype kind of died down with the rest of the crypto markets. But ever since the markets really took an uptick in the past few months, this has really taken off. So what has made this possible in the first place? Well, back in this video, I explained that Bitcoin basically started coming out with BRC20 tokens. So what does that mean? Well, you might have heard of ERC20 tokens before. Okay, so these are tokens that are built on top of the Ethereum blockchain. So how does that work? Well, you might have heard of Ethereum or Ether, the cryptocurrency that's used to pay the gas fees for, you know, the Ethereum blockchain. But what Ethereum lets you do, and other blockchains too, is you can create a new cryptocurrency without creating a new blockchain with tokens. Okay. And so you can see a list of all different types of ERC-20 tokens here that are very popular. Basically, these are just powered by smart contract or programs that are put on the Ethereum blockchain that developers create. And, you know, you can create a program that governs a cryptocurrency, and that's exactly what an ERC-20 token is. And the ERC-20 token standard is just, you know, a standard that specifies how these should work. So they're powered by smart contracts, and this is basically... You know what they do. They have specific set of functions and all that type of stuff. And so recently, Bitcoin basically started doing the same thing with a little bit different implementation. OK, so Bitcoin doesn't support smart contracts. Again, it's a blockchain that's really just designed to let you send Bitcoins around. But you can actually create something called an inscription, uh, which is basically going to unlock the ability to put data on the Bitcoin blockchain besides just transaction data. That's going to let you do things like create tokens and also NFTs. And that's what's powering these speculative assets that people want to buy, especially in a bull market. And that's why this explosion has taken off. Now, on top of that, crypto traders love new ecosystems where they can get in on early, That especially ones that have never seen a bull market before that get ahead of other people who might want to buy those cryptos in the future. And that's why this is right for opportunity. In addition to that, we're also seeing the adoption of Bitcoin Layer 2, which I'll talk about here in a second, which can unlock the ability for a full-on, you know, Bitcoin DeFi ecosystem, which, you know, is faster and cheaper than just sending things around the Bitcoin chain. And so that's an overview of the big changes taking off in Bitcoin right now. So what are some specific projects that have actually risen during this time that you can pay attention to? All right, so quick pause. If you want to become a blockchain developer, then you need to get good at JavaScript. It's the number one programming language for blockchain behind Solidity. And it's going to give you a massive edge if you're trying to land a highly paid blockchain job, create your own trading bots, do flash loans, whatever. And I've created the ultimate JavaScript training that's going to help you do just that. And I'm going to be officially announcing it within the next week on this YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out. All right, so back to the video. Well, I'm going to talk about some of those right now. And again, none of this is financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy any cryptocurrencies associated with these projects or sell them, okay? 
And I don't currently hold any positions, you know, full disclosure in the coins that I'm about to talk about or these projects. And I'm not making this video to try to influence the price, but let's get into them. So project number one is multi-bit. And this is the one that's associated with the Mubi token, okay, which has produced some pretty insane gains in the past couple months. So first of all, what is this project? What does it do? Well, this is one of the first movers in this space that really unlocked a lot of the capabilities for uh, the assets that I'm talking about. So if you release a bunch of tokens on top of Bitcoin and NFTs, well, you need a way to do things like trade those, move them to other blockchains. And that's exactly what this does. Okay. So it has several different features like a bridge and AMM and also yield farming and staking. So let me explain those one by one. All right. So first and foremost, multi-bit is a bridge. So what does that mean? Well, basically, when you have two different blockchains, they don't natively talk to one another. So if you have a coin on top of Bitcoin and you want to move it over to Ethereum, those two blockchains don't talk to one another. And so you need something in the middle called a bridge that lets you move assets from one chain to another. And that's exactly what Multibit lets you do. Now, why is this important? Well, basically, if you've got a brand new cryptocurrency that's only been out for a matter of days or even hours, okay, it's not going to be supported on centralized exchanges. So it's not like you can just withdraw it to Binance or Coinbase or whatever and then hold it there or move it to your Ethereum wallet. They're just not going to be supported because they're brand new. And so if you want to move them around, you need something like a bridge. And that's exactly what this lets you do. Now, another aspect of this is it actually has an automated market maker that is coming very soon. So this is not live yet, but why is this important? Well, basically, what happens if you buy an asset like, you know, a coin on top of Bitcoin, a brand new one, and you actually want to trade it without moving it to another blockchain. You just want to stay on top of the Bitcoin ecosystem. Well, that's what Multibit is going to do is basically create a, a DEX, a decentralized exchange called an automated market maker that lets you swap these assets back and forth all within the Bitcoin ecosystem itself without having to move to a different blockchain. So on top of that, you can also currently take your Mubi tokens, which are the you know cryptocurrency behind the Multibit protocol, and you can actually stake them to earn yield. Okay, so you can actually have a passive income uh, asset here, which is really popular. Anytime people release new cryptos, they want to have this benefit of additionally earning yield. You can also do things like farm. So DeFi liquidity mining, you can provide liquidity to the protocol itself because that's what you need in order to operate a bridge. And then you can earn a passive income reward for doing that. And then also on top of that, one big play on their roadmap is to create an NFT bridge. So if you have some type of non-fungible token on you know any blockchain that can connect into the Bitcoin ecosystem, then you can also move those between chains uh, which you're not really going to have the ability to do that with any type of centralized exchange either because most centralized exchanges do not support uh, deposits, withdrawals, and swaps for NFTs. All right, so that's a summary of Multibit and what it does. First and foremost, it's a bridge, but it has all these other features that it's working on in its roadmap to kind of make it the Swiss Army knife uh, of DeFi for the Bitcoin ecosystem, okay? And you need something like this in order to make an ecosystem really flourish. And this is a first mover in this space. And that's one of the reasons I think it's gotten so much attention and has seen such impressive price performance in the past few months. All right, so project number two is Stacks, okay? So what is this? Well, Stacks is a layer two built on top of Bitcoin, okay? So what does that mean and why is it important? Well, basically a layer two is a separate environment where you do transactions that aren't actually on top of a native chain and then you settle those transactions back on the main blockchain. So you can see examples of this in other blockchains like Ethereum. So one of the biggest complaints about Ethereum is it's too slow, it's too expensive to use for mass adoption. And so the answer to that is not to make Ethereum faster itself, but to create these things called layer twos which piggyback on top of Ethereum, you pay the gas fees there and those transactions are settled back on the main chain and you can get fast and cheap transactions and more capabilities than what you can also do on top of Ethereum with this approach, okay? Things, things like Arbitrum, Optimism, Base, et cetera, et cetera. And so basically Stacks is the same type of concept for Bitcoin, but why is this important? Well, again, with Bitcoin, again, it's really not designed to handle the load of what people are doing uh, with these, you know, tokens on the Bitcoin chain itself, it's kind of slow, it's kind of expensive. And so you can take that same concept and put that on a layer two, which is going to be a much better user experience. Okay, it's gonna be faster and cheaper. And it's also going to have new capabilities that Bitcoin presently can't handle. And so for example, with something like Stacks, you unlock the capability to actually create smart contracts on top of Bitcoin. Okay, so now you can create any type of arbitrary program that you want to and put it on a Bitcoin layer two. Uh, to create this new type of ecosystem, which is going to unlock the potential to do things like you know, Bitcoin DeFi, uh, Bitcoin NFTs, and pretty much anything you can think of on any other type of blockchain, uh, like Ethereum, Solana, 
Avalanche, whatever, on the Bitcoin ecosystem itself for faster and cheaper. And unlike the first project that I talked about, which is pretty new, okay, Stacks has actually been around for quite some time. I did an interview with people from Stacks on my channel a few years ago, but you can see that the cryptocurrency has had a pretty impressive price performance in the past few months. Uh, outperforming a lot of other players uh, in the crypto space relative to its prior all-time highs. And one of the reasons is this trend that I'm talking about that's happening on top of Bitcoin. All right, so project number three is Bitstable and the BSSB token. So what is it? Well, basically, it is a way to collateralize stable coins like DAI uh, on the Bitcoin ecosystem, okay, against Bitcoin ecosystem collateral assets. So what the heck does that mean and why is it important? Well, first of all, in order for a you know DeFi ecosystem to take off, you need stable coins, okay? Because no matter who you are, okay, people want a stable unit of account on a blockchain and a stable coin that's pegged to the US dollar whose price doesn't change is one of the best ways to do that. Now we have that with cryptocurrencies like USDC and Tether on top of Ethereum and other chains, okay? But you don't really have a good answer to that on top of the uh, Bitcoin ecosystem. But one thing you can do is you can create a stable coin that's actually backed up by crypto assets. And that's like what DAI is on top of Ethereum. So how does that work? Well, basically, uh, you have to understand where stablecoins value comes from in the first place. People ask me all the time, like, how do you make a stablecoin? OK, so you have to have an issuer in order to create a stablecoin. At the end of the day, you have to have somebody that you can go to to say, hey, you know, worst case scenario, if I want my if I don't redeem my stablecoins for the value that I'm that I'm asking for. You have to promise that you're going to do that. You have to prove that you can do that. So if, you know, centralized stablecoins issuers like USDC and Tether, they basically have the capital to where at the end of the day, you could redeem your stablecoins for that. Or you could look at other, uh, you know, decentralized stablecoins like DAI, which backs up the value of DAI itself with actual cryptocurrencies themselves. So basically uh, with DAI, what you're doing is you're taking cryptocurrencies like Ethereum and others, and you're saying like, all right, it, it, we're, we're going to back up the value of this stablecoin with this, a tiny fraction of that amount. And now people can get a stable coin that's pegged to the US dollar, and we can always come back and redeem those for those other cryptocurrencies to back up that unit of account. And that's basically what uh, you know Bitstable is doing here. They're creating a way to create a decentralized stable coin on top of the Bitcoin ecosystem that you can back up with other crypto assets to actually obtain that stable value. And they're really important because it's one of the first movers in this space. And again, you need stable coins in order to make these ecosystems work. And because it's such a brand new, fast moving ecosystem, you don't really have the ability to move things like you know, Tether and USDC over here yet. All right, so that's an overview of the explosion that's happening behind the scenes on the Bitcoin ecosystem that most people aren't paying attention to because they're all thinking about just the Bitcoin price itself going up, ETF approvals for Bitcoin, all that type of stuff. But here we're seeing a brand new ecosystem really catch up with some of the other crypto ecosystems in the space. And these are some projects that were you know, leading that charge. So that's not a comprehensive list of the projects for sure. There's lots more that I could talk about, but I wanted to pick a few just to discuss in this video today. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Do you think the Bitcoin ecosystem is actually going to take off? Have you seen these projects before I made this video? What do you think about them? I want to hear from you. And once you're finished leaving your comment, make sure you smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to get ahead of the next crypto explosion and take advantage of all this opportunity that's on the table, then the best way to do that is to double down on your technical skills and become a blockchain master. And I can show you how to do that step by step from start to finish over at dappadiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dappadiversity.